23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Keely Van Middendorp. Here's what's making headlines from across the county. A developing situation out of Knott's Berry Farm, south of Los Angeles. According to investigators with California Highway Patrol, a drive-by shooting reportedly happened outside of the park shortly before 9 p.m. The Buena Park Police Department say officers responded to a shooting outside of the location. They also say there is no active shooter situation currently. It's not clear if anyone was injured in that shooting. This is a developing story. We'll update you as we learn more. Kern County just saw its first case of West Nile virus this year. Now public health officials from around the state say one person has died because of that virus. That person lived in San Luis Obispo County. Hot temperatures this month are contributing to increasing numbers of mosquitoes and that increased risk of virus transmission to humans. Health officials say that so far this season activity is within expected levels. The risk of disease due to West Nile virus usually increases at this time of year and is highest throughout the summer and early fall. And no surprise here, but a flex alert continues through the weekend from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. You're encouraged to conserve energy during those time frames by setting your thermostat to 78 degrees or higher if health permits. Avoid using major appliances like washers and dryers and turning off all unnecessary lights. And Kaylee, we have a very strong ridge of high pressure building that's bringing us some very hot afternoon highs where we do have an excessive heat warning through at least Monday at 9 p.m. 110 degrees hottest of the week on Sunday 111 degrees. However, that high pressure will start to weaken around Tuesday and Wednesday and that will bring us some cooler conditions, but still very hot in that triple digit heat for Thursday and Friday of 100 and degrees. As for tomorrow in Lake Isabella, we're looking at 108 degrees, 98 into Hatchby and 96 in Fraser Park. Now we do have a slight chance of rain there as well, so we'll continue to monitor that. Back to you, Keely. And that's your latest news and weather update. For the latest update anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23.com.